welcome to you all in my channel today in this video we are going to see how to design a quarter wave impedance transformer for the quarter wave impedance transformer we know that the transmission line electrical length should be 90 degree at the design frequency so let us take an ideal transmission line uh, right now we are using the ideal transmission line uh, for which the design parameters are characteristic impedance z and the electrical length 90 degree e at the design frequency is 1 gigahertz here for this particular case so it is changeable if you want to design this quarter wave impedance transformer at some other frequency your f should be changed to that frequency for example i am interested in designing it at 2 gigahertz this particular transmission line has characteristic impedance of 50 ohms and electrical length 90 degree at 2 gigahertz so this electrical length actually is dependent on the frequency here so this particular transmission line is quarter wave at 2 gigahertz and uh, how to calculate the characteristic impedance uh, this particular characteristic impedance of the transmission line is dependent on the load impedance of this transmission line what is at this output port and the source impedance what is available on the so input port of this particular transmission line okay so for that uh, to define the port impedances let us go to the palette and uh, in simulation as parameter we will take a term so this term acts as a port with the rf wave feeding and here i am going to use the ground now these terms by default comes with the port impedance 50 ohm both of the source impedance and the load impedance are of 50 ohm now let us have a random variable here let us have a random value here so for example the source is 100 and the load is uh, maybe 200 okay then the characteristic impedance here will be square root of 100 source impedance into 200 load impedance so square root of 100 into 200 will be equal to let me use the calculator here 100 into 200 is equals to 20,000 so now we will take the square root and it says 141.42 okay let us take a value 141.42 paste it here so the characteristic impedance is 141.42 and the length is already decided from the quarter wave uh, impedance transformer that is quarter wave at the design frequency so 90 degree and our design frequency is 2 gigahertz now i want to simulate it so for that you need a simulation controller again simulation as parameter palette has this simulation controller for s parameter and our design frequency is 2 gigahertz so let us sweep it from 1 gigahertz to 3 gigahertz in a step of 0.1 or 0 01 gigahertz okay so double click on it you are starting from 1 gigahertz stop at 3 gigahertz with a step size of 0 0.01 gigahertz you will have number of points 201 so at 201 points the S parameter will be evaluated. Now, if I simulate it from here, I will get the data display window. In the data display window, for this impedance transformer, I want to see the input return loss at port 1 and what is the transmission parameter between port 1 and port 2 so for that i am using uh, this rectangular plot in this rectangular plot i am opting s11 and s21 to plot and let us check the s21 
22 also for the output port matching and uh, this output port matching since this is a reciprocal network uh, will follow s11 uh, and I mean if s11 is matched s22 will also be matched so you can see here this is both s11 and s22 if i delete one of them so you will still be able to see s22 control z so s11 is again there mm, this s21 so for the whole range of one to three gigahertz the s parameters are plotted here and you can see the dip in s11 which signifies that the particular impedance transformer is matched at 2 gigahertz this is your design frequency 2 gigahertz and the transmission parameter the full power transmission is also available from port 1 to port 2 so you can use marker here so you can just get the marker from this particular location you use it and just click here on the trace this marker will automatically be attached to the trace for example i'm doing it for s11 again so just go here on the trace and pick, click and this will be attached so you have now m11 m1 and m2 so you have now m1 and m2 and you can see the value that 2 gigahertz for the return loss that is m2 and for the transmission that is m1 So the outcome is as required, as, as desired. So it follows the calculation of uh, characteristic impedance.